Hello Star Citizens, welcome back and welcome to the Man on Train with Bright Light. Uh, we're going to the show. Uh, it's day three and we're going to uh, IAE 2952 at the Tobin Exhibition Centre here on the wonderful New Babbage. Uh, how is everybody? I hope you're well. I am well and I'm glad. It's, this is my third attempt at getting to the show today. Um, I um, I tried twice to get here uh, so far. Um, I've ended up stuck in a loop where I just get back in bed all the time. And another time... Yes, friend, you have a bright light. And another time... Um, okay, what is he doing? Uh, yeah, so I've tried three. This is my third attempt to get here. Um, the first two times I either rubber banded in and out of bed in a loop. And the second time I got all the way here um, and tried to drink something because I was thirsty. And they just 30 k out and that was that. So anyway, here we are. Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2952. It is Aegis Dynamics Day and that music is still too loud. And this is what ages have on display. So it's going to be a lot of stuff today to get through in a short space of time. Uh, so let's go. So we're here. Uh, and we can see that there is all sorts of things to look at. And we're going to start with uh, what is in the middle of the room. So here we have the incredible reclaimer. Which, to be honest, is completely useless at the moment in the game. Now... Going forward for 318, there is going to be salvage introduced to the game. And salvage will give the Redeemer something to do. It won't, unfortunately, make the huge claw there on the Redeemer work. But it will uh, enable us to use beams from the Redeemer to salvage other ships. And also to use other ships like the Vulture, which is coming from Drake, which we looked at on day one. Um, I'm not going to go in the Redeemer now because it's massive you want to look round a Redeemer you can check out one of my Redeemer mission videos or you can just come down here and rent the Redeemer yes you can rent the Redeemer but we're not going to do that because we don't need to rent a Redeemer and very very awkward to fly very slow and laborious so what we're going to do now is we're going to head over here at Apex Hall 2 and 3 And we're going to have a look at something a little bit more useful and a little bit more... But look at that. I mean, look at the size of that. It's incredible. Incredible. Not quite a, an 890 jump, though. Um, it's very definitely a different style of ship. I wish that room had this nice background music like this one does. A bit quieter, because that is so loud in that main hall. So, here we go. Something a bit more military so we'll start over here where we've got the Avenger series from Aegis now these are great starter ships I started with an Avenger oh now it's loud in here I started with an Avenger Titan uh, I don't know what this one is I usually have a little board that says there it is so this is it so I started with one of these and this is a great great starter ship if you need a ship you want a little run around starter ship this is a fantastic ship to get it's got some cargo space here it has a bed and it has the cockpit in the front uh, so if you want something which is a bit sporty and it's suitable for doing a bit of bounty hunting and all that this is a fantastic fantastic starter ship you cannot go wrong with this ship uh, as a starter ship I wholly heartedly recommend it uh, so there's a few different variations so this one here is the stalker uh, and this one has um, more different things so <laughs> it has different uh, mounts for different guns and missiles and then it has as far as I'm aware yeah it has these cells in the back for putting your um, when you've captured someone you can pop them in one of these cells to take them back like uh, bounty hunting so that's not really in the game yet, but it will be at some point. 
And then over here we have two different uh, Avengers. We have the Avenger Warlock, which is more of like an electronic warfare version. So let's just go and check that out. So this is the Warlock, and this is uh, it's outfitted with a EMP generator, so that can use that to disable ships, so that you can then destroy them or board them or whatever. And then this final one on the end here. Oh, excuse me, sneezing is um, the Titan Renegade and this one's more uh, for freight handling um, with a specialised dog fighting loadout mm, interesting why does this one do freight better than the other one no it looks exactly the same as the Titan one strange so uh, here in the middle is the wonderful Avenger um, Aegis Redeemer. Now, I used to have one of these and I melted it because I was a bit fed up at all of the changes that happened to its guns and ammunition and everything. Um, but actually, it's a fantastic um, ship. I totally recommend it. Um, and it's really nice to fly and it's cool for flying around. I'm going to rent it. Let's just do that. No, it's not worked. So apparently renting is a bit messed up at the moment. We've had this problem before with other um, IAEs where it's not rented properly. Bit annoying. Come on. An error has occurred. Yeah, of course it has. Let's try one more time. Apparently some people it's taking five times to get it rented. No, so I'm going to leave that for now because it's taking too long. Let's go and have a little look inside. So, very nicely designed ship, the Redeemer. And I totally recommend it to everybody to try it out, if not to actually own one. And here we go. Uh, so this is the downstairs living area. These are the bunks here. We can log in and out. There is a little toilet shower thing here. There's a little two, C two SCU area for cargo here. And then if you go upstairs, then you come to the upstairs area where there are seats. And then the main, obviously down here, you've got the pilot seat and seats for gunners for all of the turrets that this has. Now if you have a big crew then um, this is a good ship. If you don't have a big crew it's not quite as recommended. Um, you can crew it with just one person and I did quite successfully for a while but I wouldn't recommend it. I would suggest um, I would suggest using it with a crew and it's one of the reasons that I got rid of it was because it was just me flying it around and it was a bit pointless so I decided to just go with uh, an, um, not an Avenger, a, um, which way is out, I decided to go with a, um, oh, forgotten the name of it, uh, Vanguard, so we'll look at the Vanguard series in a second. They're all Aegis ships. Aegis is the largest um, military supplier to the EUAE army. Uh, Anvil is the other military supplier and Anvil is the newer one. So Aegis has been around for a while. 
and now Anvil has come along and started making new stuff. Let's go and have a look in the Apex Hall. So here we've got some Gladius ships. So we've got the Gladius here and the Gladius Valiant over there. And then in the middle, the enormous Hammerhead, which is a massive... All, I mean, all these are intended to be military ships. Uh, but the Hammerhead is the sort of huge multi-crew gunship. But you need a crew for this. You need someone to be in each turret, as well as at least one other pilot, um, in order to use any of its firepower, because otherwise you can't... There are no pilot control guns. So you must, must, must have a crew. But if you do have a crew... And this is one beast of a ship. Here's the Gladius Valiant. I'm going to try and rent, but I suspect it probably won't rent. No, it looks like it's going to do exactly the same thing. It's going to say, no, you can't rent. Yeah, I'm not going to bother spending a lot of time on that. So, that is that haul. And I'm sorry, I am whizzing through this today because I have spent uh, quite a lot of time, unfortunately, trying to get online to do this and have not been able to. And now I've basically run out of time. Which is really, really disappointing. Um, but I wanted to get the video out, give you an overview of what is on display today. Now you can make a decision whether you want to come all the way down here to New Babbage to have a look at the ships. So here's the sabers as well. We didn't look at these. So we have the saber here, which is an excellent, excellent um, one man stealth fighter. And then over here we have the saber raven, which is another. Excellent one-man stealth fighter with a different uh, loadout of weapons. So the difference being, I think these are their repeaters and these are cannons, or maybe cannons and repeaters. Can't quite remember. Uh, but well worth again having a fly. It's a very nice ship. A little bit fragile in my experience, but definitely, definitely worth um, having a go of. So now we come to Hall 1, which I think is going to be the Vanguards. No. So here we have the Eclipse. Now the Eclipse is the stealth bomber. So if bombing is your thing, if you want to go to jump town and cause havoc, then the Eclipse is what you need. Eclipse is a great, great, great uh, ship. Good for lots of different things, but particularly for uh, bombing. And then over here we have the another bomber, which is the Retaliator. And that is available as a... Um, the bomber version is not available yet. So if you buy the... Sorry, the standard version is not available. So if you buy the bomber version, you will get the standard... The, sorry, you buy the standard version, you get the bomber version available to use for the time being. And the bomber version is great for, again, causing havoc or doing um, things like that not again great for pilot control weapons so if that's what you're looking for you're better off with the Corsair and I'm trying to get through to I don't recommend anyone rents a, a, a valley a van, uh, not a valiant guard a, a retaliator I won't bother if you want to rent a bomber rent the Eclipse if you want to buy a bomber then your best bet by far is to buy the standard version of the retaliator and get the bomber version as a standing ship because the standard version is not available um, and then when it becomes available you can always decide then whether you want to upgrade to a different type of bomber okay and here are the vanguards and I would say at the moment these are still one of the best sh fighting ships in the game large heavy fighter I mean look at the size of it kind of tells you all you need to know um, look at the loadout so Got cannon on this one. 
Not sure what it's got on the others. This is a, what is this one? That's a Harbinger. There is also a Vanguard Warden. Is that this one? No, that's the Hoplite. Now the difference is the interior. So this is a, the Hoplite is the one we have. I have at the moment because it is a loaner for the Legionnaire. And inside it's basically got seats. It's a drop ship. So you can take six guys and their weapons and drop them down on the planet. It's a very useful little vehicle for doing missions at the moment. And all of the other ones have slightly different stuff in the back. Uh, this one in the middle is the... So the Sentinel is the one with the EMP. So I think that's the one over there. Yeah, the blue one is the Sentinel. If you want to buy one in the game, then the Sentinel is the one to buy. This one is the Warden. And this one is very good set up as a fighter. It also has um, the Gatling gun and the Gatling top guns there. I would change them for repeaters straight away. Wouldn't bother with Gatling guns at the moment in the game. Because you just run out of stuff too early. Uh, here's the interior. So a bit of a gun cabinet here. Oh no, it's not a gun cabinet. There we go, there's the gun cabinet. Very useful. Beds. And then, of course, the flight deck up here. And then the last one is the one over here, which is the Vanguard Sentinel. Uh, this is the current um, cheapest one to buy in game and probably the one I would recommend if you want to buy any. Um, you've got a large size 4, uh, size four repeater. Uh, four size two repeaters here so that's a good amount of weaponry there and then you also have a turret on the top that someone else can man and in addition to that the uh, sentinel has an EMP so very very useful for taking out other people um, very useful indeed so I always try to buy a sentinel fairly soon after starting the game And that's Aegis Day. I think that's everything. There's only that one hall. Oh no. It says hall. F oh yeah, we did two there, didn't we? We did. Did we? Yeah, we did the bomber and then the vanguards. Yeah. And now we're back to. Look at it. I mean, it's incredible. Looks like the ship from Alien, and I think that's intentional. There's all sorts of components here. I don't know if you can buy them here. But if you want to get yourself a large... Oh yeah, you can buy them here. So if you wanted to get yourself a very large quantum drive, there is a Baladin quantum drive there, size 3. I wouldn't buy that one. I wouldn't buy a TS2. There we go, there's a TS2 if you're going to buy a size 3 quantum drive. This is an excellent uh, thing though, because normally you have to fly all over the system to try and find these things. I'm going to go and have a little look at the armaments, because uh, again... You have to fly all over the place to buy armaments normally. So these large, uh, are these large bearing cannons or are they bearing repeaters? I'm not sure. The cannons, cannon, yeah. So what you, what I would like to do is change the armaments on the. Um, so these are cannons. Are these are kind of what's on the. Corsair, so I would look to change these two repeaters ideally. What's that? Apocalypse Arms, that's not a repeater, is it? Uh, no, it's a mass driver cannon. We don't really want any of those at the moment. That looks like a repeater at the end. That's a cannon as well. I don't think, unfortunately, um, Hurston comes and shows here. If they do, then Hurston is obviously a good... Uh, oh, there's a Hurston. That's only a little, though. This is a Hurston here. That's a Attrition 1. Uh, so, yeah, we no no real need for an Attrition 1 at the moment. 
and that's probably a size 3, size 2. That's a ballistic repeater, interesting. Some more over here, let's go and have a look. Now that I have a Corsair, I'd like to try uh, popping some of those on my Corsair. What's this one? Pyroburst Scattergun. Looks impressive. I think that's the ballistic, ballistic repeater. No use to me, really. And these are the standard ones that you can buy here. Uh, these are Panthers, uh, size 3. And these are size fours, which are rhinos. Uh, what else have we got? Anybody else's? These are Hurston cannons, I think. Oh, this got Hurston scatter guns. And these are type two, size two uh, repeaters. Let's have a look what um, what guns it has. So where's my Corsair? Oh, now I don't have a Corsair. So that's slightly annoying. I've got a Drake Cutter. I shouldn't have an STV really because that's become... Gonna have to look into that because I can't see my Corsair. But there we go. So for today, that is everything. Uh, and I hope you had a great time here at um, IAE. I certainly did. It was a bit of a short one today, but we will be back tomorrow uh, for um, I think it's Alien Day tomorrow and we'll have a look at all of the alien ships so signing out this is Talk Brazillo saying have a great time in the verse